Hi, I'm Amy, this is The Opinionated Woman, and I have a question for you. Do you like cottagecore? Because I like cottagecore. And as you can see from the title of this video, that is the entire subject of today's video. Um, so obviously the goal, <laughs> the ideal, the dream of anybody who, like me, enjoys the cottagecore aesthetic is living in a cottage, in the forest and in my case with another cute lesbian maybe with some animals some livestock you know little lesbian farmer vibe oh dream ah but unfortunately that is not uh, the case for a lot of people <laughs> i live uh, in a house in a um a business district of cape town <laughs> so i have had to find ways to incorporate little cottage core elements into my home because it makes me feel it makes me feel happy, it makes me feel cozy, it makes me feel, you know, just just like like I'm being given a hug by my little, by my surroundings. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to show you my house, like the things in my house that I've um, incorporated to bring that little hint of cottage core into my life in different spots. Um, I'd also like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Digital Downloads for All. I will be using their gorgeous cottage core coloring book later on in the video, but for now, I need to go get into some more appropriate attire. BRB. What do you think? <laughs> I've never done a cottage core makeup look because I've always been too shy um, to wear it in public because it's a little bit more, you know, got my, my little freckles going on. I hope you guys can see. Got some blush, some little little lavender lilac moment going on and I am going to be in public later so I'm going to be very brave. Um, this dress is a hand-me-down from my sibling that they thrifted so it's a handy handy hand-me-down <laughs> and then oh wait I forgot an important. This is my favorite owl necklace super cute and also again very cottage core got a little clock in it it's not right but I mean it's cute and then, to go with that, got me some cute little owl earrings. These are, again, another hand-me-down. Um, oh, gee. There we go. I had to put them on off camera. But look how cute they are. They're from my brother's girlfriend. They are from Italy. They're adorable. So, now that I'm all kitted out, let's go have a little cottage core tour. Come on. Actually, we're starting over here. So, if you've watched my vlogs, you've seen my beautiful setup here. Um, this is actually a dresser that my mum and my stepdad refurbished for me. They changed the handles, they whitewashed it, the whole thing. Like, you'll be seeing a little, a little uh, pan of it right now. So, the thing that I really like about this kind of uh, setup is the layering. So, layering all different types of cute, cozy, fun things all in one go. So, this is my little... My little antique rocking horse that I got from an antique store, <laughs> along with two of my siblings' art and my gorgeous necklace tree that my brother made me. Um, and then, of course, paired with a scented candle. Always got to do the scented candles. This one from H&M. It is a ginger candle. It's beautiful. Um, and then the, the piece de resistance of my cottagecore look going on here are my gorgeous little little porcelain dolls. I have had a whole collection of porcelain dolls since I was a child. My grandmother used to buy them for me. Got this cute little lady. This little this little baby. She's so cute. Oh look at her. And then the quintessential cottage core lesbian queen in this little girl. <laughs> and and another super duper cottage core thing from my vegan earth goddess of a mother, my little, my, my little cross stitch of a little cat in a cup. Isn't that cute as hell? I love, I love having the little cottage core elements that I have that are from other people. Like that's even, even better because then it gives, it gives the, um, the item a sense of nostalgia, you know, and a sense of like, even more cozy because if I think of my mom I think you know of being cozy and safe so like that that just helps okay now we're gonna go to the rest of the house so 
So as we come down the stairs, we have my little collection of Persian <clears throat> alcohol bottles sitting on a wooden board with a picture of my mom that I decorated, a sculpture by my sibling, and a collection of rocks, which you will see repeated again. This is another piece by my mom and my stepdad, a gorgeous sideboard that I've decorated on top with a collection of little pine cones, some family pictures, and a piece of my sibling's art. Now, as you guys know, I am super into books, so one of my number ones when it comes to decorating my house is my book collection. This is the only thing that I let myself collect, and I like to make them look pretty. As you can see, these are my white and black shelves that I have decorated with more rocks, my Gandalf pipe, <laughs> even some more rocks. <laughs> see this, like, putting it all all together in color order is so pleasing to me. And then there's two jars at the bottom here full of sea creatures and some more rocks. <laughs> this is my main shelf. So this holds my Jacqueline Wilson collection, my Louise Renison collection, and then the rest of the rainbow. Collect and de decorated with something I've collected over the years. Again, see, jar of rocks, I told you, with my plant. Another little sculpture, of course, my cup of coffee, essential, pot plants, more rocks, <laughs> and a little owl sitting in the corner. This uh, dresser is also another one by my stepdad and my mom. And here, sitting right next to me while I color, if you guys have seen my vlogs in the past, you have seen my cute ass cottage core corner. Of course, we have the scented candle, this is in the scent firewood figs, my three little, oh hello, <laughs> upcycled, um, frames on some Polaroids and plants, little algae, more plants, because to me you have to have plants. And then that is what I want to show you now. So this here is some organic um, lavender oil that um, my brother's girlfriend gave to me. So what I like to do is take a couple of drops Put it on my wrists like that and then rub it in like do i think this is going to cure anything like serious no but i respond really well to smells and this makes me feel very calm and it gives me excuse the cat all the natural cottage core vibes now outside we have my collection of little pot plants when i've been growing some cuttings. So most of these were collected from cuttings from different spaces and then I planted them all in a row here so that I can have more plants for later. My garden. Um, the weather has come through today with a nice moody overcast vibe. Um, so a very big part of Cottage Core for me is plants and animals and uh, like the animals are around. <laughs> and I, I'll, I'll get them at some point. Hang on. Wait, here's one. Here's one. <laughs> Hi, are you cottage core cat? You're cottage core cat. So, <laughs> so when I first moved in here, as you can see, there's like little rocks on the side. The whole garden was like that. The whole garden was just rocks, and that is not my vibe. I was like, no, I need grass. I need soft. I need plants. So I grew this. <laughs> I helped nature on a little bit with some, some gardening and some tender loving care, and yeah, I ended up with this luscious lawn and a whole garden bed full of beautiful plants. I mean, yay! <laughs> Our bed is full of water-wise plants that I grew for more cuttings. These are my little wire bunnies just sitting in the corner. It's so cute. This planter has sage, a rock rose and some oreganos for cooking. And it's signed off with my little flamingo. And of course, the dog. <laughs> So one of the quintessential things I think about Cottage Core for me is journaling. And as you can see, I love journaling. The pile on the right that I'm picking from now is my collection of bullet journals from 2016 until now. And the different iterations that these have, have gone through over the years. They're very pleasing for me to go back through <laughs> modern day dictionary of profanities that you, know, you can tell that I really, I really get some use out of these guys. <laughs> But this is like my absolute favorite pastime is to journal and color and just like make something aesthetically pleasing for my eyeballs, you know. Then this pile here on the left is all of my personal diaries, which I covered 
I cover each cover in specific pictures, a picture of myself from that time and then whatever look I'm going for. These are vintage 2012, <laughs> old school and then 2008 and that emo bitch and then this is a perfect segue leading on to to our sponsor digital downloads for all and their adorable little cottage core coloring book so i've been having so much fun playing around with this as you can see i have been the the great thing about this is a com they have a combination of big scenes like this and then little bits little bits and pieces like this so you could color this all in and totally just just fill in the spaces you know um or you can get really detailed and go into doing things like this so you're like adding textures and adding colors and things like that to make it really your own so i've been playing around with these quite a lot because i am very inspired to do a cottage core bullet journal layout so that is what I think I'm going to do. Excuse the cat noises in the background. So, I mean, look how perfect. This is how I knew. Ta-da! <laughs> Same thing. Um, <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a lot of combinations of like little creatures that you can uh, color in or bigger scenes that you can really just sort of turn your brain off and just color. I mean, scenes like this like so adorable where you can just go in with absolutely whatever materials you have and just color in like riots of different textures so let's see how i'm going to combine this and make it into a bullet journal spray. For the final reveal Ta -da. oh my god i love it so if you want to see the rest of this um monthly layout be sure to see my june bullet journal video which will obviously go up at the beginning of the month Yee, exciting thank you for to digital downloads for all for letting me do this this is so cute look at this little 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 snail little, little butterflies little flowers Ah, uh, so pleasing to me. Just before, as the rain starts to fall gently upon my face in the, the perfect aesthetic manner, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, do you like cottagecore? How do you bring cottagecore into your life? Let me know down below. Be sure to check out Digital Downloads for All and their gorgeous cottagecore coloring book. Thank you so much for working with me. I really appreciate it. This video was so much fun to make. <laughs> and um, yeah, give me a like. Maybe even a subscribe and tickle my bell for notifications and I'll take you next time.